Mr. Speaker, after listening to the brief contributions from the member of Denry North and the member for Beaufort South, it is with some trepidation that I want to use the word brief for my um, contribution. Um, Mr. Speaker, it is no secret that governments have a significant deficiency when it comes to maintaining the public plant in St. Lucia. And we speak to not just schools, but all other government um, buildings. And I think this is the time is right when a lot more focus should be placed on you know, consistent maintenance of, of government, government buildings, government plants, Mr. Speaker. I say that because um, the motion before us is to transfer from the consolidation fund $5.4 million, particularly to deal with recovery efforts after tropical storm Brett. And I dare say that had more consistent maintenance be done on our plants, maybe we would not be um, scrambling to address many of the, the, the recovery efforts at some of our schools. I have always said in this house that um, Shuzel Saltibus has the most schools in the various constituencies. And um, obviously, it's a significant um, a Herculean task in terms of maintaining these, these school plants. Under the last administration, a significant amount of money was put in annually to maintaining some of these school plants because I remember when coming into office and visiting the schools, the roofs were plagued with termites, termites um, droppings were falling on students, the, the toilets and, uh, uh, and washroom facilities were uh, horrible. Um, we have, we have um, in our meets in the gallery a, a former principal turned politician, and I'm sure she would appreciate um, at a time as, as principal the amount of um, effort that was put into her school in Delce in um, maintaining particularly the, the toilet facilities. And it was something throughout the constituency of Shuzel, you know, the condition of these washroom facilities and the amount of money that the past administration put into the entire island education system in terms of maintaining the school system. In fact, I believe the administration before the last one had a budget of about a million dollars annually and, and we increased that to tenfold, $10 million. And there were quite a significant amount of work done in the, in the, in the communities to, to ensure the comfort and the security of students, teachers, and, and, and staff alike, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, the, 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 the Minister of Education, member for Denry staff, rightfully indicated that, um, you know, a premium should be placed on education. I agree with you, Mr. Speaker. Um, there's no doubt that a lot more, um, you know, needs to be done when it comes to, to our children because the education field and, and, and uh, platform is changing rapidly, Mr. Speaker. I would, I would have appreciated, it, you know, because he seemed to be visiting my constituency quite often that he would at least um, invite me on some of these um, school visits, you know, Mr. Speaker, I, I, I could have definitely point out to him some of the concerns that have been raised, uh, Mr. Speaker. But all that being said, Mr. Speaker, um, I, I welcome the, the motion and the move, and, but I, I think it's important that the maintenance, and not just the maintenance of existing structures, but one of the, the shortfalls of, of the politics in, in, in our localized area is when something is done by one administration, the next administration seems to just um, close their eyes on it and it becomes a white elephant, Mr. Speaker. These are some of the things that we need to move yeah. against, Mr. Speaker. Yeah. You know, maintaining, maintaining, Mr. Speaker, yeah. the, the, the public buildings, because it's continuity all the way, Mr. Speaker. We must continue. And, and I'm sure you can think of what I'm speaking about. We'll have a, we'll have a special 
conversation on, 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 on that. Well, that was that was not it was, that was not even off the ground. Huh? Con- but St. Jude's is another story altogether. We will deal with that. The, the Prime Minister has said has said that there's going to be a whole Parliament just for St. Jude's. So I'm, I'm waiting for that, Mr. Speaker. But Mr. Speaker, that being said, um, of course I welcome the the motion in terms of the amount um, going to the school plans. I, I applaud, um, you know, the, 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 the funds that have been allocated. But I, I would also uh, make a plea to the Minister of Education, recognizing, you know, the, the, the number of school units in, in, in Shuzal Saldibas area, that um, you know, further support be given to some still outstanding um, work to be done. I thank you.